that I wish I had the opportunity to watch um, as a kid or watch them play basketball or any of the other sports that they were a part of. But there's nothing better than being in the first ever 2017 Athletic Kingston High School Bowl. I remember when uh, Coach Mitch gave me a call and he asked me if I would be around for the Hall of Fame and I really didn't know at the time. And uh, he said, if you can't do it, we'll just ask you again next year. I said, no, 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 no. It's the first one, I'm, I'm gonna be there. And then uh, it, it, it really means a lot, especially when I have someone like Keith Simmons, who I played with for three years and struck up a great friendship, you know, in the same Hall of Fame. We played against each other in college two times uh, and had the whole city behind us. I mean, it, it, it doesn't get any better than that. And uh, it was definitely a great opportunity and there's really no better people than to have and you guys there always supporting us. Uh, there's a few people I do want to mention that has played a big part in my life when I was younger and still right now till this day. And uh, it starts off with uh, Chris Sesh. Uh, some of you may know him as Ugly Gus. Uh, he basically taught me the game of basketball at the Boys and Girls Club where I first started playing. And uh, he always invited me over to his restaurant for free chicken wings. Uh, he basically brought me in as his son. And it was great to have him a part of my life and still to this day. So thank you, Coach Chris, for that. It means a lot to me. uh, the next person is uh, Coach Weinkoop. And uh, Mark Weinkoop, who is, uh, man, he's like my best friend. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because when I was playing at the Boys and Girls Club, uh, as a 13-year-old, Chris Sesh dragged me to his tryout on JV. And I didn't even have basketball sneakers at the time. Um, but he made me go to practice and try out for them, and I made the team as a 13-year-old in eighth grade on a JV level. And uh, Coach Weinkoop, I appreciate you coming to the Boys and Girls Club, making sure that you took me in, not only as um, your friend, as your player, but now as kind of like family. Uh, it means so much, and he's one of the reasons why my basketball camp is so successful. He's always by my side. I'm traveling all the time. I can call him at any time, and he gets it done for me. And there's nothing better than starting a friendship like that that lasts till this day that's able to bring the community together. So thank you. I want to thank Coach Kelder for being my coach and dealing with me for so many years. Keith will tell you, I was not always the way I am right now. All right? I was very difficult to handle. Uh, coach Kelder tried his best, and you did a good job. I remember scoring 61 points, and we had the first ever video session where he wanted to point out the things that we did wrong. I said, coach, score 61 points. <laughs> it didn't go too well after that, so I just wanted to just let you guys know that. Um, but thank you, Coach Kelder. I really do appreciate it, man. You, you, you definitely heard it. Uh, there's two other people, Coach Palmer, Joe Palmer, thank you so much for being a part of my life as well. When we made it to the NCAA tournament, him and Coach Wynkoop flew to Tampa, Florida to represent not only Kingston, but represent um, the family that we all created. And every time I went to the free throw line, it was a complete silence and I only heard their voices. And uh, they were a part of something so special <laughs> where we upset Vanderbilt in the first round in the uh, NCAA tournament. And I was happy to have those two people there in the present. Uh, Eric Chambers, the last one. I want to say thank you so much for keeping the Boys and Girls Club open for me to be able to practice my skills when nobody was around. It means a lot because a lot of kids and a lot of people don't understand it. It's the hard work you put on when nobody's around. 
that will determine how it's going to be when people are around. And uh, you, you allowed me to be able to do that. And now I'm coaching his daughter who comes to my basketball camp. And it means a lot to be able to do what you've done for me with your daughter who's here right now. So thank you. Before I get done, you have to be able to honor your family. I couldn't be here if it wasn't for the group of people back there, my younger brother, Dequan, older brother, Marcus Fisher, my nephew, Tamani, my sister, Tanika Davis, my aunt, Kathy, and my lovely parents, Annette Davis and Phil Fisher. There's, there's no words I can say. They're there for me all the time. I had difficult times at SEM where maybe I wasn't playing, uh, maybe where I struggled shooting, <laughs> but I always knew they were there in the crowd. Um, and now that I travel, I've been to 70 countries in nine years. Um, I just came back from Canada on Wednesday. I leave next Thursday to go to Hawaii, Alaska, California, Germany. And uh, we play at MSG on um, Black Friday, so I, but I miss so many holidays because I'm always gone. And I miss so much time with my family. But every time I'm tired and I feel like I don't have it, I think about the people here, I think about my city, I think about my family, and it always gives me that extra boost. And you guys all play a major part in my life and my success and the way I am right now. And ever since I've been on the road, I've learned that life is short. And that these times right here, you gotta cherish. So there's no such thing as taking too many pictures. <laughs> no such thing. No such thing. You wanna know why? Because at a Harlem Globetrotter game, every game, we got a 30 minute autograph session. And you think I wouldn't do that all the time? No, I don't. But there's nothing better than those parents posting it on social media saying, Thank you so much for making my kids' day just from a simple picture. And pictures sometimes is all we have. So sometimes, maybe 10 years from now, you guys will look at those photos and you'll say, I remember this time or I remember that time. Keith and I were talking about it not too long ago. He, he just retired from playing for 10 years and we always talked about opportunities like this. It took us 10 years to get opportunities to be in the same room with you guys and support at Kingston. And he said I shot the ball a lot, but I did let him score his thousand points in the same thing as the ball I <laughs> Now, if I shot the ball a lot, I could have beat it before you, but, I have so much respect for Keith. He is a big brother for me. When I didn't have anything going on after graduating from Siena, he called me and said, Tay, why don't you come overseas, come stay with me, and we can find something for you. And I told him, I appreciate that, Keith, but I'm gonna find something on my own. In the Harlem Globe Charters is my home. And thank you so much, Keith, for coming to watch me play at the Garden as soon as you um, finished playing, well actually he was at the Barclays, playing in the NBA arena with him and Jeremy King there. You guys don't understand how much you guys mean to me. And no matter what, I'm always gonna be Kingston forever. And if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be where I am. And I'm always gonna be a Tiger. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.